If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back from another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over my kickoff promo, well, ultimate kickoff promo predictions. Now, as you guys do know, ultimate kickoff should be coming sometime this week for the most part. Now, last year, it would have came out a week after, like, so this week's a Thursday kickoff, uh, Chiefs versus Houston. Now, it would have been a week after that, but there was a hurricane down in Florida during that week that did delay all content for about a week. So more than likely, if the schedule stays how it should have been, it should be coming out this week. Now, I, my guess is it'll probably come out anytime between now and Friday. So definitely stay tuned for that, but I will be doing my predictions today to give you guys some insight on these players. Now, kickoff is nothing special in terms of the players they select. It's very simple. They typically upgrade a pretty high overall elite, and they go ahead and do so for the kickoff. Now, I don't know if they'll pick any opening day type guys. Um, I do have a few pretty good ideas in here. I know at least one of these guys will end up being it. They, they, they have a pretty... They, they have a formula for how they usually pick players from what it looks like, and typically you always expect the same, you know, the same kind of things. But guys, before we get into today's video, and we go through our predictions, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. We're in the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know your predictions as we go through. I have about seven for you guys, so comment down below who are your top two guys you think we're going to see in the open kickoff promo. Now, as you guys do know, last year we got four guys, four masters that is, and these guys, super expensive, not the best cards, like. I think I really liked, like, really, really liked only about two or three of them. Well, two of them. Let's go with half. I like two of them a lot. Uh, the other two were like, eh, I didn't really need them. But for starters, out of the out of all those guys, Khalil Mack, Richard Sherman, Aaron Rodgers, DeAndre Hopkins. Those are our four guys. Now, very simple. Last year, Hopkins had a high base elite. Khalil Mack had a high base elite. Um, Sherman had an 86 base elite. I don't remember what Rodgers was. I know it wasn't crazy high, but against Aaron Rodgers, we can expect that. Now, in terms of who I expect for my first guy that I think could really take, I, re I really think he needs an upgrade. Um, one of the best cornerbacks in the league, and we always know he gets good upgrades, and this just seems like the exact right time for him, and that would be uh, Jalen Ramsey. 88K for Jalen Ramsey right now. He's pretty expensive for an 85, which makes me believe that other people also believe he's going to be one of the guys. Now, Jalen Ramsey just, he just, has to, he just seems like that has to be it. Um, kick off the season with him. Usually by now, usually like a Mutt Heroes Ramsey, not yet, but usually in this month now. Last two years, we got a Team Diamond Ramsey and a Mud Hero Ramsey to start the year. Ramsey's been one of the most OP corners to start the first month of Madden for the last few years, or right after. But this year, I don't think he's going to get either one of those because he already got those. I think a kickoff is perfect for him now. The thing that sucks is that if kickoff's like last year, it'll be super hard to obtain him. So I really kind of hope they don't make it super hard because then it'll all be for nothing. But an upgrade of Ramsey could be really, really good. He'll probably end up having like an 87, 88 speed. Uh, depending if he goes up to a 91, he could have like an 87 speed, which would be awesome because then powered up have an 88 or even an 89. His zone and man would probably come to like 87s and so would suppress. So he'd be right there with lockdown and powered up and everything. He'd be super, super good. I really like that Ramsey card and I think they should really consider giving it to him. I, I honestly think they will. Now, another, another mold that I know EA loves to do this, they love to give the slow wide receiver cards and or make the card slow. Now, one guy that lines up perfectly for me that I think could easily get one of these cards is Michael Thomas. It just makes sense. One of the best receivers in the NFL. EA loves giving Michael Thomas cards. Like, loves giving him cards. They all they all, they all suck whenever we get them. But they love giving him cards. Now, he's super slow right now. So, an upgraded Thomas, I don't think would be useful, per se. I don't, I don't think he'd be great. But I do know that an upgraded Thomas could be very well in the near future. Because last year we got a Hopkins. Hopkins was like an 88 overall. We got him... Or 87 we got him instantly uh right at the kickoff promo so an upgraded thomas would wouldn't be horrible but he'd probably end up with like an 85 speed which is still kind of horrible but on the bright side he would end up with like a 92 catch a 90 catch in traffic he probably end up with like an 89 spec 90 short route running 90 medium route and then probably like an 83 deep route running so he'd be like the best route runner in, in, the, in the game right now or up there for it he wouldn't be too great though i don't think i'd use him he'd be okay like if I pulled him that, I wouldn't. I, don't, I can't say I wouldn't use him, but I definitely wouldn't be happy about it for the most part because he's not gonna. He's not gonna play too great because that speed. That speed's just. It's just like a handicap. It's really hard to play with that speed. You'd have to have sprinter on him and even then. Next, I have Von Miller. Von Miller makes sense. Every year, Khalil Mack and Von Miller also get early year upgrades. So in the past, Von Miller had the Series Master and then Khalil Mack got the Halloween card. Oh yeah, Khalil Mack got the kickoff card, and Von Miller got the Series Master. And then Von Miller got a Legend card, and then Khalil Mack got a Halloween card. So for this year, 
since I knew no Kalomac usually dominates the Halloween side of things, I think that Von Miller could get this nice early kickoff card. EA loved Von Miller. He always get he always gets a ton of upgrades. He's always one of the best pass rushers. I think I ended the year with Von Miller at outside linebacker. I just had him there pretty much all year. Uh, he's just, he's a great player. He's super great. He's athletic. He can pass rush. Obviously, he's not a pass coverage guy for any of you guys who don't know who Von Miller is. He's just he's a straight up pass rusher. Kind of like that Elmas Dumerville build. Like if one of those guys, or if you guys only know the Team Diamonds right now, like just fast, great edge rusher. Now, in my opinion, would I want to see Von Miller? Yeah, I would actually, I would really like to see Von Miller for my outside linebackers, but I have Kolo Mack there right now. But if Von Miller got an upgrade, I'd probably make the switch. Or I would just power up Kolo Mack because I do know he'll probably get a Halloween card because he usually does get a most feared card. Now, this guy that I'm going to say next is a little iffy because I do know that he might also dominate Halloween. But for now, I think he would be, I think it would just make sense to give this guy a card early on. And that's Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was like the poster child to end the season last year. That's all everyone talked about, even with Christian McCaffrey going ham and everything and everything that went on come playoffs time derrick henry was the man they were debating him as like the best running back in the nfl that he carried the titans um and all this other stuff so i feel like he's gonna have a big year in terms of cards just because people are gonna love unless he gets you know forbid that he gets like hurt or anything happens or he falls off i think he's gonna get a ton of cards this year and they actually made him fast like they actually gave him some speed this year which i do like because that's how Asu will kill his card so a kickoff card for derrick henry would probably end up having I say an 80, an 87 speed, but if they gave him an 88 speed, guys, like if they gave him a 91 car with an 88 speed, that Derek Henry could be really good because power up of an 89 speed, which would be really comparable to like a bow and a berry kinda. But his trucking would be above 90, his break tackle would be above 90, his carry would be around 90. His agility and everything else wouldn't be that good, but he'd be, he'd be up there. He wouldn't be bow because it's just bow. You can't compete with bow, but he'd be up there at hopefully a much more discounted price. Now this next guy, a guy that I wouldn't pick up at all. Like I, in real life, I love this guy big fan of him i really like him but ea just really kills him and i really don't think he's as slow as ea makes him out to be but it's sad that that's exactly how they end up painting this card and that's Devonte adams on Devonte adams in real life he doesn't he's not that slow he's really he's probably he's tied for like he's like a top three top four wide receiver in the nfl and he really just doesn't get the love he deserves in madden now in terms of stats if he did get an upgrade to a 91 that'd be a plus five increase he probably end up at like an 86 speed which i would prefer an 87 but i think they'll probably give him an 86 but let's say for sake they gave him an 87. In that case, no, it'll be an 86, right? Powered up of an 87, but it'll probably end up with 90 short running, 90 medium route running, and about 84 deep route running, plus high catching traffic. But like that's the thing with this card. Even on an upgrade, he's not gonna have above 90 catching. He's just gonna barely hit 90 route running, and he's gonna be slow. He's gonna be like a worse version of Michael Thomas, which is which I don't understand because I think Devonta Ad Devonta Adams is a great deep route runner. Like I feel like I've I've been to games, I've seen him in person. Like Devonta Adams is great at running deep. He's fast. He can run post deep outs like there's a lot of things that i feel like he's really good at and i feel like he doesn't properly do his stats but again that's a conversation for another day and now for the final guy that i would really really like to see the kickoff guy because this guy never gets big upgrades early in the year or at least good upgrades like like good cards because i don't know what it is ea really just doesn't ever give this guy upgrades and when they do they somehow ruin it now he's a low overall for some reason i don't know why they do this and that's Deshaun watson he's only 16k and i really don't know why they do this to him. They give him horrible cards. First off, he's, he's fast. In real life. He's really fast. He's not Lamar Jackson. He may not be Kyler Murray. But not many people are in that sense. In terms of speed. No, don't, Watson's a better quarterback than Murray for someone killed him. But in terms of speed, Kyler Murray and Lamar are faster. But not not 76 speed. If Lamar, if Lamar is a 90 speed, Deshaun Watson has like an 82. 83. I've seen him play. Like, I don't understand how they can even justify that speed. But if we're going to go off of that... A 91 Deshaun Watson would be pretty nasty, especially so we can have, I, I would love to play with Deshaun Watson. I really like him in real life. We never get good cards for him. His card would probably end up, I'd say with like an 81 speed, which is fair, but and hopefully his throw power goes up to like an 87, 88. Um, that'd be, that'd be good. And then if his, his accuracy can just go 85s across the board with a high throw under pressure, high throw on the run, like it wouldn't be the best quarterback in the game, but that at least make him competitive, make him fun because they never, I've never had to play with Deshaun Watson mad literally ever and ever give him a good card but guys those are pretty much all my predictions we got ramsey michael thomas von miller derrick henry Devonte adams and watson now in my rankings who would i prefer the most um first i'd like to see the ramsey by far ramsey would be my guy uh that'd be a top cornerback in the game i'd power him up instantly and he's always super fun he has hit power which would be really really great um number two i'd want to see von miller just get myself a good pass rusher i love a good outside linebacker especially right now the way the game is you know, a good pass rusher like that could really dominate, especially if I get edge start or something on him. And then, of course, 
coming at number three for me. It's this one's tough. So Ramsey and Von Miller for sure. I wouldn't want Michael Thomas or Devontae. I predicted them because I feel like I could see it, but I wouldn't want Michael Thomas or Devontae Adams. Now, probably Watson. I think Watson would be fun. Now, I probably wouldn't use him, but I think it'd be more fun than or Derrick Henry. It, 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 it's hard. I really only care for the first two, but guys. That's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn it on to go, boys. Come join the family. If you're looking for coins to pick up some players, to get ready for the kickoff promo, to get ready for the season opener, go to muttreserve.com down below in the description. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Coins are heavily discounted right now. You can use my code for an additional 15% off. Make sure to take advantage, guys. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.